this goal. A heavenly touch. And a statement that says, here we go again. A week from today, Major League Soccer will be back on the pitch. Hercules Gomez, Mauricio Pedrosa, and for the boys, Coveno and Rich. But Herc, the question is, will Carlos Vela be a part of this return? That's a great question. Listen, a, a lot of reports here at ESPN are saying that he's uh, actually mulling those options. It looks like he won't be playing. It's a very slim chance that he actually will play. He falls under this category of uh, medical exemption. Either you have a pre-existing condition that says you can't participate in this tournament or it's not a good idea, or you have a pregnant spouse like Carlos Vela. Bottom line is, it's the league's most important player, their biggest star, and if he's not in this tournament, they suffer. It looks like he won't be part of this, and because of this, everything changes. Your biggest star isn't there, the lines move, because LAFC right now is the favorite, at least for the betters, at least in the odds makers in Vegas, to win this tournament. But if he actually chooses not to be a part of the tournament, would you be disappointed in him? Or would you understand the situation? Because Carlos Vela has a history when he decided not to play for the Mexican national team. I'm not saying yeah. it's the same situation. I know the cases are completely different, but there's precedent for Carlos skipping tournaments. This, this time is different because it's a medical reason, but how disappointed would you be in Carlos? And not in Carlos, no. I think you hit the nail on the head when you said that he's got, I guess, experience in missing this type of tournament, but it's unprecedented times. I mean, we've never experienced a pandemic like this, and if he doesn't want to participate, Correct. he doesn't have to. Now, those players who don't have these medical reasons have to participate or they're going to be docked pay, uh, a certain, uh, I guess, uh, percentage of their annual paychecks. Carlos Vela, in two and a half seasons, and really two seasons because they've had two weeks in this season, has already grossed $15 million plus dollars out of Major League Soccer. He's not hurting for that money. If he doesn't want to be there for 30 days, he doesn't have to be there. I'm going to be disappointed and not even be able to see his talents on the field, but not in Carlos Vela. Yeah. This is for him. This is for his family. If he wants to do that, good on him. I agree. Uh, reigning MVP broke every single individual record established by Joseph Martinez uh, the season before that. Now, on, in terms of impact on the pitch, is LAFC still the favorite if Carlos Vela is not playing with them? No, they're not. I mean, you're taking a team that Carlos Vela had 34 goals, 15 assists on. They were the best regular season team in Major League Soccer history because of Carlos Vela. That's going to be very difficult to replicate without Carlos Vela. So now you're thinking it's up for grabs. And this is a great opportunity for those teams who historically don't do well in regular season because it's a nine-month season and because Major League Soccer is turning into a league of the haves and have-nots. So now you have seven games to win and you get a CONCACAF Champions League. So now maybe a San Jose, now maybe a Montreal, now maybe a Red Bull. All of a sudden, everything changes. LAFC is no longer the favorites. To me, both teams in Major League Soccer MLS Cup are now the favorites. The Seattle Sounders, reigning MLS uh, Cup champions, and Toronto FC, the finalists. And it's not only LAFC absorbing the impact of his absence. Just if you want to create a parallel, just imagine LeBron James skipping the NBA rest of the season, the rest of the tournament for medical reasons. You, Everybody would understand, but I don't know if... Major League Soccer is trying to talk Vela into playing because if he's not there in terms of TV viewership, in terms of interest put on this tournament, it, there's obviously an impact for the league as well. Without a doubt, Carlos Vela doesn't play, Joseph Martinez doesn't play, Jonah Dos Santos today uh, is not playing due to a hernia procedure that he will have. That's three of your biggest stars that are not going to be there. If Chicharito Hernandez, who, by the way, has a pregnant spouse, decides not to play, wow, yeah. what are we left with? Where are the stars going to come from? Yeah, that'll be a tough hit, tough impact on Major League Soccer. However, the tournament is on and starts July 8th. Most of the games right here on ESPN. Shout out to Covino and Rich. We'll see you soon.